Hi guys! Yes, there is a big old pregnant belly in your face. I'm going to be doing some belly mapping today, and um, if there already is some green marker on my belly, I, um, I apologize. I've already done this video and I had to wipe it off and start over again because of an interruption. But um, basically, I just wanted to show you how about belly mapping. I hadn't even heard of it until this pregnancy. I don't know a whole you know, I'm not like an expert on belly mapping or anything, but you know, a lot of it is just very self-explanatory. Um, there's a website called spinningbabies.com and it explains on spinning babies how to determine what position your baby's in. Now, obviously your, um, your provider, your midwife, your, your OBGYN, they're going to be able to, uh, probably determine that better than you could, but, um, I am 100% confident in the position my baby is in, and he's always in that position in ultrasounds as well, and I could feel it, and I, I have been able to know what I'm feeling and then see it in the ultrasound and understand what I'm feeling. So I'm going to first show you how to do a basic belly mapping and, um, and what, it, what it all means and what you're feeling for and how to do it all. So it's just, uh, it's going to be a super quick video, super quick explanation, it's very basic. Um, if you want more information, you can go to spinningbabies.com, and they um, you can look at their belly mapping section of their website. So the first thing that you want to do when doing a belly mapping is you want to, to um, divide your belly into four quadrants. Um, so I'm going to first take my marker and draw a line straight down. And then I'm going to take my marker and draw a line straight across, right at the belly button, so the four quadrants are like this. And I'm using, using my lid. So, <clears throat> anyway, so I've got my four quadrants, and the baby, ideal position for a baby is head down in the anterior position. The posterior position is where the baby is facing upwards, like looking out, um, and that's not the ideal position for birth. And that's the way that I delivered my son. I didn't even know that until recently. Um, I had a very difficult delivery with my son and my mom was there to witness the delivery and she and I were talking about it the other day or a few weeks ago and she told me that he came out in the posterior position face up. And that explains why I had shoulder dystocia, that explains why my delivery was so bad, I had back labor, it was just a very difficult delivery. So. Um, the ideal position for your baby to be in is the anterior position where they're more facing the back and they're of course head down. So, and that is, my baby is in the perfect positioning, so that's why I wanted to really do this video on myself in particular, um, because the baby's in a perfect position. So, first you want to locate the baby's head. So right here, boom, baby's head. Okay, so you want to draw where the baby's head is, which is down here low. It's probably a little lower than that, but I'm not going to uh, go, I'm not going to show down that far. So um, let's see here. So baby's head. And the baby, the next thing you want to locate is the booty. And the reason is because you want to know which side your baby is on. Um, from what I understand, ideally, you want your baby to be laying on the left side kind of facing the right side and facing down a little bit and that's exactly the way my baby's laying. His booty is right here. So that's his booty. And so what I'm feeling here is a basic, you know, his shoulders, his shoulders are somewhere in here and you could feel a firmness all the way along between the head and the booty. You can feel the firmness of his body connecting the booty and the head. So that's how I am confident that he's on the left side is because it's a lot squishier on this side. It's, it's really firm right here. You could feel his body. Um, you know, he's got arms down here and I can feel deep inside of here where his arms are feeling around sometimes. I can't feel that all the time. But it's enough to let me know that he's in the anterior position because his arms are, you know, deeper in and not right up here in the front. So that tells me that even though he's kind of looking to the left, he's more, he's like looking to the left and down, like towards my back. So um, we've got the booty 
and then his legs go across here, and this is his knee, or knees, and then he, it, it varies. Right now, his legs seem to be down here, and his feet kind of over in this position. So his legs kind of fold right here. And, but it varies because sometimes his legs will be up here pushing up into my ribs, and other times his legs will, he'll be like folded in half and his legs will be down by his face. And I've seen that position every time I've had an ultrasound, his feet down by his face. So that was my phone going off. But anyway, so that's basically a, a basic way of how to explain belly mapping. You just feel for the main things, the head and the butt. And the way to tell the difference between the head and the butt for me is the head is completely firm and the booty is not quite as firm. I mean, it is firm, but not quite as firm. And the little movements that I'm feeling up here is clearly his hands. That's a clue right there. And I feel straight up kicks in my ribs up here. I mean, there's so many indications of the way he's laying and it was really easy to figure it out, but I had never given it a lot of thought until I was looking into the belly mapping. So it's really neat. So I definitely recommend doing it and you should search um, on go to Google or, or spinning babies and look up their belly mapping. It's really neat because you'll see that some people have like an artist actually draw the way the baby is laying, draw like a picture of a baby laying in the exact position it is in the belly. It's really neat to see. I'd love to have that done or at least have my husband draw the picture for me and take a picture of it. It's very, very fascinating. But this is all very helpful because this my baby's laying in the position that um, he should be in for birth. So as long as he stays in this position, I'm happy. If he moves from this position, there are things that you can do, exercises that you can do. And a lot of times when your baby goes into the posterior position, it's because, there goes my phone again. A lot of times when the baby goes into the posterior position, it's because of you know misalignment. Sometimes going to the chiropractor can help. Um, getting down on all fours and doing some exercises can really help. So. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions about this and make sure to go to spinningbabies.com. Um, no, they are not paying me to do this video. I just thought anyone watching this would find this as interesting as I did. So anyway, talk to you later.